All right, I'm gonna show you some proof that the Trinity is a pagan idol. It comes from paganism. So all you gotta do is go on Google and search up Catholic Trinity statues, and you're gonna come up with a lot of pictures of basically graven images of the Godhead of this uh, three person. It's funny because the word persons, you know, as a, as a um, plural is not in reference to the to uh, the Godhead. God is always referred to as a person singular. Now there is still separation in the Godhead. I've done videos proving that. But this this uh, like look at this right here. You have this uh, obelisk, this pagan obelisk with the uh, graven image of the Godhead on top, the Catholic image of the Godhead. And that's what it is. You know, Catholicism is just paganism repackaged. So they just borrow a lot of stuff from paganism but you can google trinity statue and they have you know jesus supposedly this long-haired sodomite looking guy they call jesus uh, this old man they call god the father this thing he's holding and then you have the holy spirit uh rep represented as a dove so and it's kind of funny this picture right here yeah you, got, you have mary right here you got to slip in mary somehow too so you have the jesus son of god Holy Ghost, God the Father with this triangle Illuminati symbol behind him, and he slipping Mary right beside them. Real nice, real nice. But all you gotta do is search up ancient, just search up ancient Trinitarian gods, and you'll get a lot of stuff right here. Like right here, you have, why isn't this loading? You have the Egyptian Trinity, you know, um, I think it's Isis, Horus, Set, I think is what it is. That's the three gods. Hmm, so Egyptian pagans, they have a trinity too. Isis, Horus, Set. Interesting. And it's kind of funny, just like the Catholics, the pagans would make idols of their trinities too. Interesting. And here you have... Where is that picture? Here you have a, a pagan Roman trinity. You know, the three gods, three, three gods, but one... And it's kind of funny because, notice right here, they have their they have their arms facing upwards, huh. just like the Catholics right here have their trinities have their arms facing upwards. Kind of interesting, actually. I mean, you don't think they you don't think Catholicism borrowed it from the pagans, do you? Yeah, they did. Oh, where is it? Uh, let me scroll down some more. Again, the Egyptian Trinity, the three gods, but you know, three parts persons, but one God. Because according to the Bible, there. Okay, here's the misconception, basically. Because people say, "Oh, you're denying the Godhead. You're denying, you know, separation." No, I'm not. There is separation in the Godhead. No doubt about that. The Son of God and God the Father are. There is distinction between the Son of God and God the Father. I'm not denying that. But I don't say the three separate divine persons, one in essence, one unity. None of those terms are in Scripture. Now, the word Godhead is biblical, but the word Trinity is found nowhere in Scripture. Scroll down again, you have a uh, pagan Hindu trinity, you know, the trinity in Hinduism. You have the, you know, three God, the three persons, but one God, you know. Uh, not like the Bible teaches as three parts, but one God. And again, there is separation in the Godhead, I'm not denying that. The Son of God can separate from God the Father. You know, there there is distinction in the Godhead. The Son of God is distinct from God the Father. But they're not three separate persons and, and you know, all this other unbiblical garbage that the Catholics will say. And, uh, you know, we have this uh, other thing right here, this, uh, you know, thing right here, and, you know, trying to say, oh, the Trinity is not a pagan idol. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. And you have, again, this, um, you know, and you have this uh, Islamic website trying to disprove the Trinity, and they bring up a point. The pagans have always had trinities for quite a while. So this Islamic website, Islam for Christians, is, you know, right in that sense. That there is, of course, you know, the whole oneness thing, that's false too. Like the Muslims are not correct in the whole oneness thing because oneness is still false too. Uh, modalism and oneness is still equally as false as the Trinity. But the bottom line is, is that, that basically they're both wrong essentially because and I've always said this, there's elements of both sides that are correct. For example, the Trinitarians are correct when they say there is distinction and separation in the Godhead. They're correct when they say that. However, where they go wrong is when they say that they're three separate persons and divine essence and all this other unbiblical garbage. The oneness people are correct when they say that there's only one God.
But what, where they go wrong is saying there's no separation or a distinction. There is. So both sides are right in some sense, but they're both wrong in other senses, in other ways. So let me show you some scripture on this to end it off. Oh, yeah, you got a little picture right here. You know, right here of, I guess, three Jesuses or something. You know, there's these little creepy babies everywhere. You know, that's real biblical. But um, I apologize for my heavy breathing. I am sick. But uh, Acts chapter 17, verse 29 says, "Where's where's the verse?" For as much then as we are the, or as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven or yet graven by art and man's device. The Godhead is not it cannot be made by man's by man. It cannot be made we're not supposed to make images of the Godhead. So these Roman Catholic paintings of Jesus are not accurate. They're not biblical. Roman Catholicism is a pagan cult. It is borrowing elements from paganism because again the Egyptians have the exact same thing you know the three gods but you know three three different gods but make up one god essentially and it, just like just like the Catholics the, the Egyptians make idols of their trinities hmm. how about that so anyway God bless you goodbye